Hi everyone, I wanted to come on today and give you the market analysis for the third quarter of 2022. What we're seeing right now is a continued increase in the median and average sale price of homes. We are seeing a lowering of inventory um, in terms of homes for sale, but a lengthening of the time it takes to sell a home. So what that means is that although the market's still hot, it's definitely starting to cool down a bit. What we can see is that the number of homes for sale in quarter three were 1,189 last year and we're now down to 759. In terms of the units sold or closed home sales, in quarter three of 21, it was 2,678 versus this year, is 2,149. That is a decrease of 19.8%. If we look at the graph, we can see that in quarter one of 2010, the median sale price was just over $300,000. It dipped its lowest in quarter one of 2012, but then started to come back up. And by 2018, it was over that $300,000 mark where it was in 2010. And since then, it's been steadily climbing, and now we are at $450,000. This is a steady increase over the last 10 years, which proves again that real estate is a solid investment over time. Recently, I spoke with my lender and found out that in this type of market, we are looking for alternative ways to help buyers still be able to afford a purchase. And one of the ways they can do that is to buy down their interest rate. I have a lender that can help you do that. There are different packages. And if you're a buyer who's thinking that they can't purchase right now because of the interest rates, we should have a talk with a lender about the options that there are for you. And if you're a seller, you should maybe open yourself up to uh, offering seller credit versus a price reduction. It will open up the amount of people that can purchase your home um, and get it sold. My name is Corey Saradarian, and I'm a member of the Jay Ginsburg Group at Addison Wolf Real Estate, and I'm here to help you with all of your real estate needs.